Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video um, we're going to be centering items with Flexbox. Um, I know a few of you have recently been asking me to make Flexbox videos so here you go. Um, so basically we're going to be centering an item uh, with Flexbox so essentially doing this right here. Where we have this image which is centered vertically and horizontally inside this, uh, this square container. So it's actually pretty easy to do and doesn't require that much work. Alright, so let's start with a um, with a clean slate right here and hop inside the text editor. So first we need um, the parent square or container or div to actually hold the content we want to center. So in this case we're going to, we're, um, we're going to be making a, a new div and then centering an image inside there. So below the h1 tag let's go ahead and create a new div uh, with an ID of logo container. All right. And inside here, of course, we're going to have the logo itself. So image with an ID of logo. Um, the source for this will be assets and then uh, decode logo alpha.png. And of course, uh, fill in your alt. So we can just say logo inside there. So I can save this and refresh the page. And we are left with this right here. So you can see that the image is, of course, um, you know, taking up its full width of the actual source file. Um, so we're going to, of course, fix that. But first, let's hop back inside here and um, and change uh, change the styling of the container itself. So up inside here, we're going to target the logo container uh, ID. All right, and we can begin by, of course, displaying it as a flex box. So of course. Uh, when you want to center your items, uh, the parent needs to be the flex box. Your content does not need to be um, displayed as flex. Only the parent um, gets displayed as flex. So basically, of course, with Flexbox, the idea is it helps you uh, position and size your child elements inside your parents. In this case, we have parent and we have child. So we're going to say display flex on the parent. Okay. So to vertically center your items, you say align items and then you say center. So that right there is going to vertically center the image. And we can say justify content as center again, and that's going to horizontally center the image. So basically, this is all you need right here to, of course, um, center your items with Flexbox. So just for some more clarity, Let's give this a border of 2px solid and red. Also, some padding of 10px. So I can save this and refresh the browser. And we have this right here. So obviously, um, the flex box is expanding to meet the height of the image. So we're going to fix that right now. And of course, also uh, make the width of the image a lot less. So back inside here, let's set a width and a height on the logo container. Okay. Um, we'll say 100, sorry. So 100 px right there. And that is all for the container. And uh, we can now target the logo itself and simply set a width of 75% of the parent. So in this case, it's going to be 75% uh, of 100. So I can save this and refresh the browser. And we have the final result. You can see here, of course, that it is centered uh, vertically and horizontally. And if I was to go back inside here and remove all of the flex properties and press save, it gets put in the top left corner. Um, of course, so put it back and it is centered once again. So that right there is how you can center your items with Flexbox. This technique is going to work on, I, I believe, basically every case or most cases when you're um, trying to center items. Of course, it's going to have its uh, particular scenarios where it does not work, but this is essentially what you need to do to center your items with Flexbox. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.